In this problem, I have no friction, so it's a perfectly smooth floor. I like to have my hash marks on my floor, so I'll put those in. And question A can be done before we even get into to really doing a complete force diagram for this object. Um, it is going to be important to break that applied force into components. So this one is 100 cosine 35. And then I'll say it's approximately equal to 81.9 newtons. That's all that matters for answering part A, but I'll go ahead and do the other component right now. There's a vertical piece, and that's going to be 100 sine 35 degrees. So 100 sine 35 is approximately 57.4 newtons. Oops. All right, so let's answer part A. What I'm doing here is looking at Newton's second law in the x direction. So I'm going to write F net in the x direction is equal to the mass times the acceleration in the x direction. And there's only one force acting horizontally, so this is pretty simple. 81.9 newtons is going to be the mass, which is 8, times the x acceleration. And I can write AX or just A, it doesn't really matter. It's going to be 81.9 divided by 8. So I get 10.2 meters per second squared. All right, then I want the normal force. And so the important thing about this problem is realizing that normal force is not always equal to mg. So there's a force of gravity down on the box, that's mg. 8 times 9.8, .8. might as well get a number on it right now. That's 78.4 newtons. And my normal force is not 78.4 newtons, and the reason why is that I have another vertical force tampering with the system. So I'm going to have to put in the normal force as an unknown, pushing up, and I'll call it N. And then I have to actually analyze forces in the y direction to figure this out. So I have no acceleration in the y direction, which means it's safe to just say all the upward forces have to add to the same number as all the downward forces. So I'm going to write N plus 57.4 newtons. That's all the upward forces. It must be equal to all the downward forces, 78.4 newtons. So N is found from this little subtraction problem, 78.4 minus 57.4, and I get 21.0 newtons for the normal force. I should have boxed my acceleration as well. Let's get that done real quick. Okay, now we're going to combine the solution to the dynamics problem, where we use Newton's second law to find the acceleration. We're going to combine that with our knowledge of kinematics to answer this question. So I had that the box started from rest. I'm going to let it go for two seconds. I'm looking for the total distance that it slides. And I'm going to go ahead and assume that it started at x equals 0. So I have x naught equals 0 and v naught equals 0. So I go to my first kinematics equation, and that should get it done. x equals x naught plus v naught t plus 1 half at squared. And v naught is equal to 0 because I started from rest. x naught is equal to 0 just because I put the origin there. And I end up with 1 half times the acceleration, 10.2, times the amount of time that's gone by, 2 seconds, all squared. And I get 20.4 meters for that. 